the trailheads of the Baker Creek Road, the start of a journey for those who choose to take the first step. It's a journey which some undertake for adventure, for exercise, or just out of a sense of discovery. But for one remarkably stubborn fish, it's a voyage already begun some 15,000 years ago, out of pure necessity. This trail hugs Baker Creek all the way to Treeline, some six uphill miles. And like the thin string of a child's helium balloon, Baker Creek tethers its namesake lake to the ranches and alfalfa fields of Snake Valley, a full vertical mile below. On a scale of geologic time, these ranches are new to the land. What existed there before was a lake, fed by mountain glaciers and inhabited by, among other fantastic creatures, the Bonneville cutthroat trout. The planet has changed a lot over the course of millennia, the organisms which inhabit it and the atmosphere which sustains them. Our species has affected both. Lake Bonneville, as we now refer to that ancient lake, is long gone. The Bonneville cutthroat trout hangs on, having fled the dying lake and moved uphill to the mountain streams of the Great Basin, including the Snake Range in eastern Nevada. Like all trout, Bonnevilles require cold, oxygen-rich water. Their numbers within Great Basin National Park, already decimated by the introduction of aggressive, non-native trout, like this brook trout, a warming planet harbors no good news for one of Nevada's few native trout. So an idea was hatched. If non-native trout could be removed from Baker Lake and Johnson Lake to the south, Bonnevilles could be introduced. Their species could, in essence, be transported back in time and temperature to conditions in which their Pleistocene ancestors thrived. Two high-altitude lakes, which would prove colder and more stable than the small drought-prone streams where they live now. One problem. Baker Lake's natural outlet flows underground for a short distance before percolating to the surface. It's a journey that even a resourceful trout like the Bonneville cutthroat cannot follow on its own. So, John Reynolds, a fish biologist at Great Basin National Park, plans to give them an assist. His plan is to remove the lake's non-native fish and deliver by hand its rightful occupants, the Bonneville cutthroat trout. It's a project in its early stages, and John's in recon mode, tracking down the lake's current non-native inhabitants. He's doing the legwork. This high-elevation fortress of water and stone will hopefully prove a long-term sanctuary from human-driven climate change, but it will likely not be a permanent one. The waters of Baker Lake will eventually warm as well, but this move may just give the Bonneville cutthroat trout a fighting chance to hold on to their birthright in the waters of the Snake Range at Great Basin National Park.